Ooh. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Perfect Christian. I'm a servant of God. I am not religious. I do not celebrate holidays, but I speak my truth. Today, I wanted to talk about how we you know, live in this world and we have people set, have you second guessing your walk with God because the worldly people have you second guessing your walk with God because they have you questioning yourself like, why aren't you changing or why aren't you doing these things you used to do? And you have to find yourself going through an isolation, sta isolation stage where <clears throat> you have to cut off people in your life and you can't watch TV shows like you used to watch. And you can't do things you used to do. You know, God, once he gives you the truth, which is the word of God, black and white, not what I'm saying, not what none of these YouTubers are saying, the Bible, the word, that's the truth. Once you know the truth and he opens your eyes, you start to realize the things you were doing were bad and you stop doing those things. And a lot of people will question you when you stop doing those things. Because they, they used to, the, they used to the worldly you, not the godly you. And once you become that godly person, people start to notice and they're not happy with it. They start to distance themselves from you and they start to question you as a person and start to bring up your past and, oh, well, you used to be out here doing this. Why are you all of a sudden trying to change? Or basically trying to downplay what you're doing as a Christian woman in God, in God because you're not doing what you used to do and that's not fair to you. And I'll just let you know that it's not fair to you for people to judge you for your past. Or if you were out there slutting or being a slut or whatever, or used to be a stripper or used to sell your body, and it's not right for people to <clears throat> look down on you, you know, and judge you. When you actually are willing to change and when you actually are changing. When you're in the process of changing and becoming a better person, no one has the right to judge you during that process because you're still learning to cope and you're still learning to deal with your sins and you're still learning to accept yourself for what you have done and repent and really mean it and when you repent you cannot go back to that sin and if you go back to that sin that means God hasn't accepted your um, apology or I guess you would say or accepted you going down on your knees and asking for forgiveness because if you really in your heart felt like you were wrong when you did that sin, you will completely stop. But if not, when you pray, that your prayer will not be answered. And also when you pray, don't pray to Jesus, pray to, pray to God, because God is the one that brought God, God is the one that brought Jesus down here. <clears throat> Praying to Jesus makes no sense because he doesn't have the power. God has the power. So when you pray, ask God. Do not ask Jesus, ask God. And I want to point that out because a lot of Christians always want to pray to Jesus. And they wonder why their prayers are never answered. You go to God when you pray. So I just want to throw it out there for anyone. To not have no confusion, you know, with that. And also, <clears throat> just let you know, when you are in the process of becoming a better human being, people will try to knock you down. And like people say, in the, in the says in the Bible, God will only put more on you than you can bear. And if he's putting a lot on you, he knows you can bear it. So just hold your own and pray that God continues to make you strong, <clears throat> you know. Because when you're weak, God is strong, he is there. So, pray he makes you strong. Because God is in you. He's the spirit that guides you within. That lets you know when he made you in a specific way so that you can know when, it's, when something is right and when something is wrong. And he always gives you a loophole out of a sin. You just have to recognize that loophole. <clears throat> and that's all I gotta say, you know. God is good and... I mean, in the process of becoming a better person, people will try to knock you down. Don't let them knock you down. Don't let them have you second-guessing God. You know, continue. And it's going to be a lonely road. And if you're not used to being by yourself and being alone, it's going to be very tough for you because you're used to being around a group of worldly people that have nothing to do with your progress, you know. And then once you, you become alone, you have those time periods, isolation periods where you're going to be alone for a while. And then people, God is going to bring godly people in your life that's going to cross paths with you. And embrace those people. Do not judge those people. Embrace those people. And realize oh, you only have a few people that come in your life that are going to be like your branches on your trees. And accept those people in your life when they come and just embrace it. Um, pray for those people in your life. And love those people that come in your life that are right for you. There are godly people 
and everything will be okay. I really believe that. Um, so, like, just pray. So, I guess you can bow your heads, I guess, like they say in church. Just whatever you feel like is comfortable for you. Um, Lord, I would like to pray for people that are lost in this world. Um, I would like to pray for the people that are becoming and transitioning, becoming better Christians, men and women, <clears throat> to stand on their two feet and not be afraid to be alone, and not be afraid to stand out because we are the chosen ones. We are the ones that are chose to be out are the ones that put to stand on our two feet and not be afraid of what people will say, Lord. I pray that you help them stay strong. I pray that you help them realize that they're, that you have forgiven them for their sins and that they do not have to keep continuing to feel bad or beat themselves up because they are becoming a better person out of it. Those sins have defined them and made them who they are and have made them strong. So, Lord, I just pray that they continue to grow and not become monsters. You know, do not let this world mold them and make them to, into monsters make them into better human beings so that they be able, be able to be used by you and not be so caught up in this world yes there's a lot of chaos going on but focus on God and everything will be okay <clears throat> in Jesus name I pray amen yeah, that's all I got to say um, have a blessed day welcome to my channel uh, like I say I keep it real and have a blessed day